<laughs> I mean, I'm not a beat, but beatbox expert, but that was decent, though, I don't know. Because that guy identified properly. That was a little bit soft, I thought there was going to be a little bit more to that, to be honest. Beatbox for me. <laughs> the beat's got him. I forgot his main guy. I forgot the main guy's name. The beat's got him. What the fuck is all that about? <laughs> That was good. I mean, I'm not a beat, but beatbox expert, but that was decent, though. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Not really. You're amazing. Okay, well, that's probably gonna go ahead and call her. Ah. Yeah. You're amazing. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> I don't know what he's seen. Like, he's supposed to be. He don't want to be in the action end. I mean, he looks like he shouldn't be screamish. You know, he's got a lot of tattoos, but um, no, that. Yeah. Something's got him. I don't blame him. You went viral on the internet because you were arrested and you were a piece of broccoli. Yes. Um, uh, do you identify as broccoli? Or? I, I am Mr. Broccoli, yes. Yes, that's right, please. Um, do you have another name or not? No, Mr. Broccoli is that's me. It. Yeah, you that's don't it. go about your daily business as a piece of broccoli. I've always been a piece of broccoli. Really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right. So, what, so do you have a job? Uh, I just grow. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's really good. That's a very important video, that is, because that guy identifies as broccoli. And who are we to say that he doesn't? I'm sure there's some laws out there that might need changing. Um, this is the world that we are getting close to, maybe. Who knows, you know? Uh, Gervais tried to make a sketch about identifying as a chimp or something. This guy's gone one step further. He's a broccoli. I mean, that's not even... It's a semi-living organism, isn't it? It's like, it's a, you look tasty. I mean, I appreciate it. I'd like to hear more. As anything else. If you're watching the news and you hear a sex sound blaze out of it. They ain't gonna pick that up, trust it me. It come from us. Listen, we don't know, we don't know. Listen. It might, it might come out. We'll see. I think she's live now. She's got a script down. Go, go, yeah, go. Yeah, do it, do go. It. These arguments in the past. So, will Lord Kerr's intervention, <laughs> you know, make any difference? Well, on the one hand, you know, his arguments do add some lead. Oh, go again, Lee, Lee, go again. Go again. Due to the government that there is still room for a U-turn, a possible rethink or even another referendum on Brexit. <laughs> on the other hand, his intervention has caused some... One more, one more, one more. Go, keep going, keep going. <laughs> ...that it is an absurd and pointless <laughs> statement and you always run the risk that by intervening... In Cracking effort from the from the producer uh, from the presenter. Then she definitely heard it. She definitely threw off her game of touch, but she stayed with it. I appreciate the edited version as well. Like we got the behind the scenes um, account. That was brilliant. That was awesome. Like I mean, they should. <laughs> you can't take for granted that you're going to be able to read the news out out in public for anymore. And I think these 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 presenters need to be more aware of it. Either die. Hey, get the fuck out of here because I'm I'm gonna fuck you out right now, motherfucker. Come oh, look at this guy. Oh, uh, that was uh, I was a little bit that was a little bit soft. I thought there was gonna be a little bit more to that. To be honest, uh, I heard the music in the background. I mean, the outburst from Canelo, which was cool, is sort of. A new, a new level to him. Hopefully, it hasn't been encouraged too much by the zone. I don't know if there is a spin-off series to come, but I was hoping for a, for a touch more. Then I think uh, TikTok let me down. It doesn't benefit me in any way, except I suppose I get to come back another day and and you know I keep my job for a bit longer. Make up for all the other failures, you know. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, but other than that. So the fact I'm being, I don't, I don't have to be enthusiastic. I can give you the facts, I can smile, and I can do all the, sh the usual spiel. I don't have to like it. You can make your own mind up. Or, and if you don't buy it, it's not like I'm losing money. Right? And, well, <laughs> I know, it's, I know I'm being a bit blunt, right now, but yeah? the point right. is... It's because I, I love, I swear, I don't swear at this anymore. I don't swear at my duvet, I swear by it. That was very accidental, Brent. I mean, he come close to the mark, nearly. His, his mind was not on. <laughs> he's probably thinking about some sort of a you know, jazz band he's planning to start out. You know, he's just started at the weekend. But that's how good you know, David Brent and Ricky Gervais is. That it's so close to the mark, so close to real life that... I struggled to see facts from fiction. It's like I'm plugged into the Matrix now. I just think uh, 
Yeah, he had it. <laughs> His mind was elsewhere. Bill Hampton on hanging around. Castro Giovanni, had he retreated 10? Referee still holds out and on. Whoa! Christian Day. Hartley Tuolang is off the field. He must be. He, he's just caught Chris Ashton with a right. Off the ball. Did, and Tuolang, he should be off. Appalling work by the official. Look, that's a high challenge. That's a yellow card. He's a shove. No more than that. Tuolangi now throws a punch. Ashton and bang. Well, Tuolangi will be slighted, and Chris Ashton has had an injustice done to him. That is disgraceful. I don't even think there's a Leicester fan who would argue that the referee in touch right. judge has made the worst. Yeah, disgraceful. It was a bit harsh. I think his foot did, he, right, he did lose his position in his right leg as he threw the right hand. But I mean, it wasn't the worst shot in the world. You know, I think you know. You think about that Canelo balance. He was solid from the waist down, nice and mobile from the waist up. But he lost his feet. He fell over the front foot. Didn't really get a great connection on the right hand. If you're going to throw it, throw it properly. You know, you? This guy yeah. is not on the level he thinks he is. I think he's in dream world. You know what? I know this sounds terrible. I think he should finish. <laughs> no, that's, that's too hard. I, should, I, should th I think he should finish. Listen, you can't, I personally don't think, right, he's a hard puncher anyway. In this game, you need to get a, get a jail card. You need to be able to put them away. Brock them up. You, you need, need to smash them up. And which camera can I look into to tell Chris Eubanks Jr. to finish? Because well, 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 I prefer him to finish. I don't want to see him get hurt <laughs> anymore. <No. laughs> And that's, and that's why, um, you know, we all wanted to sign that petition to get him on every boxing channel, um, you know, from here to the, you know, to the end of time. Uh, fantastic analysis of breaking down um, a fight of Chris Eubank Jr.'s um, with real um, insight and knowledge from one of the Britain's greatest ever fighters. Naz, um, we miss you, we want more. Would you like to shake my hand? I'd love to shake your hand. It's been a pleasure talking to you. I'm like I'm ready to do I'm pulling them a bit. You do. We can, can all pull about a little bit. <laughs> Try to pull about, have a little pull and a push. Obviously, I'm watching it here from a bit of a distance. It don't look quite as bad as the last time I've seen it online. Um, I don't know, I don't know what was the ginger guy top thinking about. He tried to give him a strong handshake, but totally switched off for the, for the pullback, you know, for the counter, and nearly, nearly fell over the table. Um, could have been better. Could have, been <laughs> could have handled that a bit better. Remember being, that was actually me, I remember, remember doing that, being very tired at the end of like seven hours of filming at Sky, and kind of losing my way. I've never watched that episode of Behind the Gloves, or The Gloves Were Off, whatever it's called, because, um, I wasn't happy with my performance. Uh, let myself down a little bit. So yeah, <laughs> and, and and Carl rightly says we can all have a little pull about. Or <laughs> yeah.